Hey everybody, Scott here with Stag Arms. Today we're gonna to talk about tripods and tripod selection, some of the considerations that you wanna think about. Stand by. Why would you want a tripod? Well, essentially, a tripod is just so you can shoot further off the ground. I mean, that's really the biggest reason there. If you had a choice, every time you shot, you would probably want to be in the prone position. Why? Because it's the most stable and it's the easiest to shoot in, okay? But, you know, in the real world, and um, in other words, not on a range, you're going to be faced with hills and rocks and shrubs and trees and stuff like that. So a lot of times you're going to have to get off the ground. Now, a tripod is a really good um, method because it's, it's a good balance between weight and stability. All right, so some of the considerations. First, you have to ask yourself, okay, what is it for? Am I gonna use it for hunting or am I gonna use it for some type of competition or for range use, okay? Or for like sniper operations or something like that. So it, when considering a tripod for hunting, one of the major considerations and factors is gonna be the weight of it, okay? Um, so uh, I'm gonna pick something a little bit different versus like, like a competition where I'm not really gonna be carrying it uh, for a long distance or putting it in a, in a backpack. But um, instead of weight being a major consideration, it's gonna be stability and rigidity, okay? That's another major consideration for com competition shooting, okay? And then the other consideration is gonna be how much are you willing to spend? Tripods can go anywhere from, um, you know, 100 bucks 150 bucks all the way up to like a thousand dollars okay it really depends on what you want or how much you want how much you want to spend okay so when you start talking about a tripod that um you don't really care about the weight so maybe it's for competition the, there's different materials okay uh the, the two most popular materials out there um, that tripods are constructed of is going to be aluminum and carbon fiber um, aluminum is going to be a little bit cheaper and it's going to be a little bit more heavy the other one out there that's common like i said is going to be the carbon fiber the carbon fiber one is going to be very rigid because carbon fiber has a, a really good rigid feel to it okay they're very strong and it's going to be lightweight now again like i said before this is going to make the price go up a little bit more okay so those are some of those considerations all right so another consideration that you want to think about is not only is it used for hunting or competition but is it made to that to where you want to shoot off of it or is it just for glassing like i mean because there's tripods that you know obviously they're, you know they're not made for shooting they're going to be a little bit thinner they're going to be lighter um, they're not going to be as tall so you might not be able to shoot off a tripod so when you when you talk about shooting okay and you talk about what it's made for then you got to also think about some of the attach the ways of attaching a rifle or a spotting scope or whatever you're going to use this for to the tripod the swiss arca okay what's cool about that is it's going to be generally lightweight i mean there's not a whole lot to it um, so it's lightweight it's still very strong it's easy to use and all it is is a system that's very quick it has uh, it's a two-part system so you, if you want to use this type of system you have to have a uh, a, a mail in or an attachment point on your rifle this type of mount that actually mounts to like an m-lock system or like a key mod or something like that um, so you have to have a two-part system you have to have this in order to attach it to this okay but it's as you can see here it's very quick and very easy i just i slap it in there i can tighten it down okay and just a really easy lightweight system um, for mounting your rifle or mounting a spotting scope or anything like that. So very, very useful. Um, these are actually, uh, because the system is, is so well thought out because uh, it's ease of use and for all the other reasons I just mentioned, these are very, very popular, okay? Um, the other way, or the other method of attachment, like I said, is using a clamp. Now this clamp um, does a great job, okay? Um, pros and cons. Uh, the clamp is going to be heavy okay because this thing has to be strong because you can tighten this thing down pretty dang good um, for fixing your rifle um, but you have to tighten it pretty tight in order to maximize what the tripod is for in order to keep that rifle nice and uh, nice and steady okay um, so it's going to be heavy because it has to be made out of metal 
or even if it's not metal, if it's aluminum, it's still gonna have to, it's gonna be pretty heavy because it has to be a robust system. And there's more moving parts here. So you have to have a Swiss, or one of the ways of mounting it is to use a Swiss Arca to mount it and then use this to mount it to the rifle. Um, but either way, it's gonna have, there's more parts here to machine, it's just more to it. So this is gonna be more expensive and it's gonna be heavier. Okay, those are the cons. The pro to this, is that I don't need to put anything on my rifle. I can just take this, I can, I can have it on my tripod, and I can take any one of my rifles out of my safe, come out here to the range, put it in there, and I can use it, okay? The next thing, or the next consideration, um, is gonna be the type of ball head design that you wanna use, okay? Um, because there, that, there's also some pros to con. When you order this from Vortex, I mean, it comes with a bunch of different options, okay? Or any tripod maker for that matter, they have different ways of, a, of attaching an accessory to the tripod. This is a leveling head. I really, really love this design, okay? It's, it's super, it's smooth, um, it's easy to manipulate, it's very, very strong, um, just an all out, just great system, okay? The leveling head. Uh, so all the pros, smooth, strong, uh, easy, uh, ease of use. Uh, one of the cons um, is that it's just you're kind of limited in um, being able to uh, tilt the the rifle up and down. So if you were in a uh, area that had a lot of like maybe some uh, some large hills or mountains, and you're going to have to move your rifle up and down, and you're going to need to have a lot of that, a lot of um, if you're going to have to really adjust the angle a lot, this might not be the head for you. Okay, so this right here is as basically as high as it can shoot here. And then that's as, that's as far down as I, could, as I can point throughout. So that is definitely gonna be um, a con in this system, okay? The other system that you can use to mount an accessory to a tripod is the pan and tilt model or method or design. Um, this is again, it's another Vortex product here. This is their Ridgeview Carbon. This thing here is, is not designed to put something as heavy um, as a rifle on here. Um, it's not designed for all that weight. This is more for spotting scopes uh, and maybe some ca camera equipment. But you can see here um, by this design or with this design, it has a lot more um, angular movement up and down. So, so they do have designs like this that are made for shooting with a rifle, um, but you can do, I mean, it's really great for, uh, for a tilt and pan. Okay, the other, the other option is gonna be the ball and head. This right here is probably the most, the most common and the most popular. Um, the, 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 the pro to this is that again, just, just like the uh, pan and tilt, you have a lot of flexibility there. It can really, you know, uh, um, you can really, you can really adjust the angle with this a lot. Um, it's still, it's lightweight and it's easy to use. So, something like this, in my experience, the more weight you have on this, it's just gonna be harder to use. It's not, in my opinion, made for a lot of weight because like if there was a rifle on here and that 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 was heavy or something on here that was heavy, it kinda, it's hard. It sometimes it just wants to fall to the left or right. Okay, so that's just one of the, I guess, the downsides to that. Um, but other than that, it's still, a, um, it's a great option, okay? Um, depending on what you need to use this for. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you wanna see me use a tripod in action, go to our YouTube channel and you'll see me on a really cool hog hunt using a very similar tripod. It's a lot of fun. I'll see you next time.